By the way, I have nothing against Tommy. I'm friends with Tommy. You know, he used to be our road manager. Believe it or not, I don't know if everybody knows that, but you know. Uh, if you've read Ace's book, you may know that. There's, a, there's one story oh, in particular one. in there about you and Tommy on the road that we probably don't have to get into. Is that when I punched him? Yeah, that'd be the one. <laughs> well, you know, that's really out of character for me. What happened was we had an ongoing rule on tour that there's no women allowed in the dressing room. But of course, you know, when, when Shannon and, and Paul's wife came on tour, they just yeah, pranced. And, and let me get this straight. Kiss, no women in the dressing room. Ki yeah. Okay. Yeah, because like, you know, when we're getting ready, we, you know, we don't want anybody in. We don't even want guys in there. Like, the only women that are allowed in the dressing room are the women that dress us, <laughs> which isn't too bad. <laughs> we had women dressing us and stuff, you know, they'd be... You know, during the day, they're running around and uh, washing our costumes and ironing them and making sure everything's, you know, Jean's costume had to constantly be fixed, you know, because they had all that floppy stuff that would break and they, you know, they, they had glue guns and stuff, you know. But they're doing that all day and then when, it, you know, prior to the show, we're putting on our makeup and then the girls dress us. But, you know, we had a standing rule that no girlfriends or anything were allowed in the dressing room. You know, I had a girlfriend with me, you know, a model from Canada. And, uh, of course, she always had to wait outside. Anyway, when, when Shannon and, and Paul's wife came on tour, they just pranced into the dressing room. I let it go. I didn't make a big deal out of it. But now, this is the last day of the tour in Australia. Everybody has left the dressing room. Paul, Gene, and Peter. Was Peter there? Yeah. They all, or was it Eric? It's not important to the story anyway. They had all split. So uh, my girlfriend, Chan was standing outside, and I said, hey, honey, come on in. Nobody's here. So five minutes later, Tommy Thayer comes walking in and goes, Ace, you know the rule, no women in the dressing room. I go, there's nobody here, it's the end of the tour. And he like started, you know, being authoritative with me. So I gave him a shot. <laughs> That's pretty much the story. I got aggravated. I guess the Bronx boy in me kind of came out and we were doing a Q and A like this, you know, with a, a little less people and uh, I polled the audience and I said, what should I call the next album, 40 years later? And I got a lukewarm response. And then Gene, I'm gonna imitate Gene right now. <laughs> Please. Or uh, uh, Ace, uh, you should call the album Spaceman. <laughs> I said, okay, coming from you, great. I don't want Tommy Thayer knocking on my door going, I'm a spaceman. I don't think so. I do not think so.